how to create notion database items from microsoft teams automatically so assume that you and your team are discussing some important ideas in microsoft teams channel and whenever any new idea or a message is received someone from your team always save those ideas those messages as database items in notion but what if i tell you that you can entirely automate this process yes whenever someone will post a new message in your microsoft teams channel, Channel, the same message can be added automatically to notion database items want to learn how you can do that then come with me and i will show you everything step by step so this is the dashboard of microsoft teams application and this is the dashboard of notion and in order to save the important messages in notion automatically i'll have to integrate microsoft teams with the notion with the help of pabli connect which is an amazing and a very cost effective integration and automation software i am an existing user so i am already logged in you can also create your free account in pabli connect in just 2 minutes from the sign up free button and in the free account you will also get free tasks to test these kind of amazing automation now once you will log in and reach out to the dashboard of pabli connect click on this blue button firstly that is create workflow and then provide a random name to your workflow to your automation okay so i am directly pasting the name as create notion database items from microsoft teams okay simply click on create and after that you will find two boxes so these boxes are actually called as trigger an action and here the trigger means when this happens an action means do this so whenever something happen in the first application then automatically do this in next application okay so basically you need to always select the applications in this trigger an action window in which you are building an automation okay understand with an example also let's say whenever a sale happen in a payment gateway application then automatically send an email via gmail application to your customer okay Okay. so according to our use case whenever any new message is received in microsoft teams application then automatically save that important message or an idea in notion database items okay so i have selected both the application in this trigger and the action window okay and now the idea here is i'm going to connect both the applications one by one with the pabli connect so let us connect to microsoft teams with pabli connect so firstly you will have to select the trigger event okay so i want that whenever any new channel message is received this automation should trigger or we can say that the data of that message should be received via pabli connect okay so i have selected the same simply click on connect simply click on add a new connection click on this connect with microsoft teams and then you will have to provide the access of your microsoft teams account okay i have provided this access my multiple times okay so i will use the existing connection and as soon as i click on save you will notice that the authorization will be successful and microsoft teams account will be immediately connected with the public connect just in case if you also want to go with the existing connection make sure in the first time you provide the access of your microsoft teams account and after that you can also go with the existing connection okay so here you can notice we are connected and because we are connected whatever the teams are available inside my microsoft teams account have started visible here you can even read this digital initiative public relation mark mark eight project team us sales retail pabli connect test team and new team and you will be able to see all the teams here in the drop down okay so i would like to send the messages basically i would like to save the messages of this specific team okay so that is why i will be selecting pabli pabli connect here as the team and for the i want that which channel message should be saved here okay so again i am going to select pabli team here and the same i will select here also that is pabli team okay now as soon as i click on this button you will notice that the most recent message of the teams will be captured via pabli connect okay so how about in front of you i share some important message in this microsoft teams channel 
channel and then further i will click on that button and you will notice that the same message will be received via pabli connect you can even read this message we can start mentioning about pabli connect's free pricing model whenever you ask user to do sign up uh, do mention that they will get 100 task free that to every month to test the automation okay coming back to pabli connect dashboard and clicking on this button and waiting for the same message the details of microsoft teams here all right fingers crossed and here you can notice that a response is received let us check whether it is the same message or not okay so here we have the message type as message here we have the modified date and time also and here we have the importance here we have the display name of the user also okay now i am looking for that message okay so where is that message okay we also have the created date and time we even have the body content type and finally we have the body content that is the same message okay we can start mentioning about public connects free pricing model whenever you ask user to do sign up do mention that they will get 100 tasks free that to every month to test okay and here you can notice it is the same message okay so the presence of this data clearly shows that the connection in microsoft teams and public connect is working absolutely fine okay so now onwards what will happen every time any new message is posted in microsoft teams channel the same message will be received as a response in Pabli Connect button every 8 hours because this trigger will check for the new data in 8 hours. Basically the trigger here is the polling base which will capture the data in every 8 hours but don't worry it will surely capture the data and once the data is arrived in Pabli Connect we are going to send the same data in Notion so that we can save these important ideas and messages okay. So the application is already selected let us select the action even that is create database item and just like we have connected microsoft teams and public connect now i'm going to connect to notion and public connect click on this connect with notion and then you will have to provide the access of your notion account i have provided this access multiple times and in fact i am already logged in in notion into a different app so instead of asking me the access it is directly asking me for the permission okay so i am going to provide the access to all the pages and make sure that in whatever the database in whatever the page you are about to add the details the access of that page should also be provided and here you can notice we have provided the access all right so clicking on allow access and this is how my notion account will also be connected with the Pabli connect all right so here you can notice my notion account is connected with the Pabli connect and again because notion is connected with Pabli connect whatever the databases i have created inside my notion account have started visible here okay so let me show you the same here you can notice we have created i have created several pages and all these databases pages are visible here only okay so i would like to save the messages in this specific page in this specific database item okay important messages so i'm going to select the same well it was visible at the top and has got selected automatically now you will notice that as soon as i have selected the database whatever the columns i have added in this database have started visible here so here you can notice date time user and message all these four columns are visible here also date message user time and this is the default column okay so i just need to provide the details here one by one and this is how the data will be saved here automatically okay now from where i will provide these details remember we have just captured the data into our previous step and the interesting thing is i am not going to manually copy the above data and paste it here one by one okay i am going to map the above data okay and mapping is very simple click on this field and you will find the same data the above data here in the drop down let me search for my body content okay so here we have the body content which i have mapped and in the same way i am going to map other data also now you must be thinking what is this mapping so whatever the details i'm mapping here these details will be replaced automatically when this automation will work in real time in next time okay i'm repeating this thing once again with every new team messages this existing data will be replaced automatically okay so this is how this automation is going to take place and that is why mapping plays a major role inside this automation now it is asking for the date and time 
time so yes i do have the date and time but the interesting thing is i have the date and time in a single field only okay so firstly i am thinking to separate these two fields and then i am going to individually map the date and time and in this way you will also able to learn how you can actually split any value or date or text or anything okay so before your notion application step you'll have to click on that plus icon and directly search for the text formatter which is an amazing feature of pably connect via which you can apply different kind of operations within your workflow within your automation this time i am going to add i'm going to use this particular uh, function that is split text okay simply clicking on connect and then it will be connected immediately if you are logged in into pably connect dashboard here you can notice it is asking the text to split okay so again i'm going to map the date okay so we have the date and time as this that is created date and time and which i would like to split with this t okay so separator is t okay i have mentioned here now it is asking that which segment of this particular value you want you whether you want the first segment of the separator or last segment of the separator or you want all kind of segments okay so i have selected the same that is all clicking on this button and you will notice that i will get the date and time individually okay so here you can notice the date and time both are splitted okay and now i can easily map this updated data here but you will notice that the recent data is not available for the mapping okay so i just need to click on this refresh fields button and this is how our automation will be refreshed and now i can easily access the recent data and map it okay so from this text formatter feature i will map this date and in the timing i will map again from the text formatter feature okay so i think i have provided all the important data how about i click on the save and send test request button and waiting for the response to be received all right you can notice that the response is already received going back to my notion application and here you can notice the same date the time the user and even the same message has been saved here automatically okay so in this way whenever any new message is posted in your microsoft teams channel the same message will be saved automatically in an organized way in this important messages database okay and to automate this process you need to create this automation inside pably connect just once after that you can sit back and relax because pably connect will take care of all the task in the back end you do not have to do anything manually okay and just in case if you want to access this three step automation inside your own pably connect account i will also attach this link into my description box okay simply click on this link and then sign up into the pably connect and then you will be able to access the same three step workflow inside your own pably connect account that to for free not just these applications you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with pably connect you can ask your queries at forum.pably.com my team will surely answer to your questions this is the website of pably connect and for the latest updates of pably connect and unique automation ideas you can join our facebook group that is formget.deals if you have found this video helpful in any way share it with your friends and colleagues and also help them to automate their business like share and subscribe thank you for watching this video